If we want to understand mocap, we need to roll it back to the 1910s. Motion capture, or mocap, rooted an early experiment with human movement and animation. After that, Disney's Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs of 1937 used rotoscoping, hired actors traced over live-action footage to create realistic character movement. Like this! Jumping in the 1980s, technology advanced, enabling early digital motion capture systems. Reflective markers on actors entered the chat and were here to stay. Specialized camera were used to record those movement. In 1993, Jurassic Park used mocap-like techniques for CG dinosaurs. In 1999, Star Wars Episode I, The Phantom Menace, featured Jar Jar Binks, one of the very first fully mocap-based CGI characters. The 2000 exploded with the Lord of the Ring trilogy. Gollum, portrayed by Andy Serkis, became one of the first mocap characters to earn love and admiration around the globe. Avatar's 2009 came with the big guns, pushed the boundaries with facial mocap to create highly expressive blue jar. Today, mocap is widely used in films, video games, and virtual reality with advancements like marketless systems and real-time rendering, leaving misreflective markers. It has been. How does it actually work? 